I want to start this video off with a huge thanks because we're almost at 10,000 subscribers, which is just crazy to me. Uh, I started this channel, I think about a year ago, last month, and I never thought it would get to this point. So for me, that's just awesome, and it wouldn't be possible, obviously, without you guys supporting me. So I wanna give a huge thanks to everyone that watches these videos, um, because this is just crazy to me, and I know it's gonna keep on growing, because I have an awesome build plan that I'm gonna talk about at the end of this video. Um, so if you're not already subscribed, hit the button down below. Um, I've actually noticed a lot of you consistently watch these videos. Um, I'm getting a lot of viewers that come to my channel, watch my videos, but still aren't subscribed. And I'm not sure why, but um, if you find yourself consistently watching my videos, just smash that subscribe button, because um, you're not gonna wanna miss what's coming next. But uh, for now, let's dive into the top of this video, and we'll catch up more on the back end. <laughs> Uh, I'm a huge BMW guy and uh, this 135 is kind of the staple of this channel um, and I've owned it actually I'm coming up on the five year anniversary of it this month so that's crazy to me that I bought this car almost stock five years ago and obviously you guys see where it's at today but to kind of bring that back to the topic of this video I love BMWs I usually always own an additional BMW um, on top of the 135 just kind of as a daily driver um, if you've watched my How to Flip Vehicles video, which somehow got tons of views, um, you'll know that I buy a cheap BMW, I fix it up, I modify it a little bit, just tastefully clean, and eventually I'll sell it. Um, and during that whole time, it serves as my daily driver. Uh, just because this car is kind of um, over the top at this point, I drive it on a lot of the summer days when the weather's nice, but here in Wisconsin, obviously we deal with winter, so this is not a winter car for me and I usually always have another one. My most recent daily drivers were all E90s, uh, some E92s. Uh, I've owned three 335s um, that were my daily drivers in addition to this 135. Because um, once I got bit by this N54 bug, um, I have so many spare parts and obviously I just know how to fix them. So um, maybe some of you guys have seen the video of my gray 335. Uh, I'll put a little tab up on the right or the left side, somewhere on this video. Um, check that out where I lowered it on coilovers and wheels. Um, that was my last most recent E90, E92 daily driver car and I love that car. It was super clean, it was fun to drive around town, comfortable, quiet. But after that, I, I was ready to kind of try something else. I had done a bunch of E90s, I had had some E46s, um, all sorts of different cars. But uh, then my mind started turning and I thought about the X5. So I picked up an E53 X5, which is early 2000s X5, E46 era there for an X5, and really enjoyed the practicality of it. I'd never had an SUV before, but I wanted to kind of get my feet wet with it, so I bought a cheap E53, cleaned it up again a little bit, drove it a while throughout the summer. It was nice just to have the room, honestly. And I thought having that all-wheel drive system in the winter, once winter came, would be awesome. So uh, I liked that car, and obviously the next best thing then was to uh, look at upgrading to the E70 X5, um, which is the next generation, kind of the E90 era of uh, the X5. So I thought that would be a, a nice upgrade for a daily uh, family car that I could keep for a long time. Uh, spacious, all-wheel drive for the winter, I thought, you know, selling the E53 again for a profit like I'd done with the vehicles in the past. Went to go take out my first loan on a daily driver vehicle. Usually I buy them all in cash, that way I can fix them up, sell them for a profit, keep the difference type of thing. But this one I knew I would be looking for a really nice one and I knew um, it would just be smarter to kind of take out a loan and not limit all those available assets directly into the purchase of that car. So my mind kept turning and um, I thought about the X5M, but again, that's A, expensive, and B, I'm unfamiliar with it. I'm not familiar with the, the V8 Turbo. I didn't want to pay M tax on parts, um, all that sort of thing. So entertain the idea for a while, but eventually scaled it back to a non-M. Instead, you could get a E70 X5 
with M Sport package, which had a similar body kit to the actual X5M. Uh, I thought it looked very nice, came with a couple additional features, and then um, I decided between the V8 and the inline 6 available for the E70 that um, not only was the V8 definitely unreliable, but the inline 6 was the N55 version. So I had never owned an N55 before, but coming from a few N54 cars, thought that the N55 would be a nice step to at least try that out. Maybe show it on the channel, uh, become familiar with it myself. Everyone else says it's supposed to be more reliable than the N54, so I thought, let's get an E70 with M Sport package, an N55, um, and then as fully loaded as I could find it. I wanted every package, every option. I was really picky about the spec of the car, and I wanted certain colors for the exterior and the interior. I decided if I was taking out a loan, I wanted to get something that I thought I would really, really like. That's when I started my nationwide search. I sold my E53, and um, after some really hard searching, I narrowed it down to a few X5s, um, and eventually one in Missouri caught my attention that uh, I thought would be a great candidate for for what I was looking for. The next step was to coordinate getting that shipped up. I had it inspected down there. It was the first car I ever bought sight unseen, wired over the money after getting approved for the loan, and uh, had it shipped up shortly after. After sending the money, I thought I'd be more excited to get this car. I thought it was what I wanted, and it would, it would be a step in the right direction for a, a long-term, reliable, nice vehicle. But uh, I just, I don't know, I wasn't that excited about it. It was cool that I was about to get delivery of this car that I've been looking for, but um, I just wasn't super thrilled about it. So um, anyways, it got dropped off. It was a beautiful car, super clean. It, it had all the packages and options I wanted. It was, it was loaded. Drove around for a while and just it just wasn't exciting to me. I didn't know if it was because it was the, the SUV compared to a car. Um, it was just, Nah, like it, it was great, it was an awesome car, but uh, I needed to do something to spice it up. So I thought, you know, maybe if I start modifying it, I would really fall in love with this car. So the first thing I did was start looking for visual mods. It was bone stock on the exterior, um, but I started doing some small stuff like uh, gloss black grills, painted corner reflectors, tinted the windows, and uh, did the LED interior lights. Put some spacers on the factory 20 inch wheels um, and it looked it looked nicer but um, at the end of the day it really didn't look crazy it wasn't a build it wasn't anything like that it, it looked like an x5 so um, I was you know content with the way it looked I thought it was very good looking for an x5 but the next step was maybe I needed to start making it go fast or you know make noise or something something that um, when I was driving every day I could get excited about. That's when I started looking into performance modifications for the N55 and the X5. There are a lot of N55 mods out there for the 3 Series, but on the E70 specific chassis, there wasn't a whole lot of uh, X5 specific performance mods. There's no aftermarket intercooler available at all. Um, some of the other bolt-downs don't fit the same as the 3 Series. Um, and then I looked into doing my first standalone, you know, not standalone ECU, but MHD only back end flash. Because I right now have JB4, I've always loved JB4, and then flashing it with MHD on top. But I thought I could just do a straight MHD flash, and that should wake this car up pretty good. Um, so, looked further into that, and turns out my model of an X5 was not compatible with a MHD flash. I had to remove the DME which required a lot of work on that X5 and uh, send that out to get bench flashed and then I would be able to um, MHD flash it but that just wasn't practical for me because I relied on that car for my daily driver I had purchased it in the fall was driving it through the winter this thing was stored um, and it just wasn't practical for me to have downtime on that car uh, just to be able to flash tune it so um, again I just kinda got bored with it and, you know, wasn't that excited over the car. That's when my wheels started turning that, you know, maybe this wasn't the best idea. So, um, instead of just continuing on here, let's jump in the car. I sold that X5, but I'm gonna continue telling the rest of the story as I go and get some groceries with this. With this. 
This is my daily driver now, um, grocery getter. So let's take it for a ride quick and um, we'll continue this conversation. Honestly, like, come on, really? I don't get people that park like absolute morons. I purposely parked in the whole back of the parking lot just to avoid door dings and somehow I get some quarter filled car that pulled in sideways and I had to scoot in through my door. I don't get that. Anyways, uh, I got the groceries. Again, hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, but I want to touch on the next potential car for the channel. If you guys saw my uh, Instagram post, and a lot of you guys follow me on there, I gotta give you guys a shout out again. Like I have the most engaged audience for having such a small amount of you know followers in comparison to some of the huge channels. And, Whatnot. Like I get so much engagement out of you guys, and I think that's awesome. I love interacting with you guys. So um, I, I put up a poll the other day on my Instagram, and a bunch of you guys responded. So I'm sure you have a good idea of what this potential next car is going to be. I'm going back to my roots. Um, no surprises there. But uh, this is going to be the first type of. I always seem to have camera problems when I'm filming these videos. Um, so I didn't get a chance to finish what I was saying or film an outro, but uh, I don't know exactly where it cut off. So all I have to say is this build's gonna be exciting. I have a vision for it, and I'm gonna carry it from the minute I get it to my vision, hopefully all this summer, and then um, we'll see what happens after that. But it's a, it's a build that you guys aren't gonna wanna miss. So seriously, if you haven't subscribed already, smash that button down below. Um, I'd really appreciate that because you're not going to want to miss this. Uh, while you're there, hit the like button because that will help it show up uh, on, on the feed for everyone else. Um, I appreciate all you guys' support um, and I will see you guys soon with a new build in the future. Peace. Peace.